Has this ever happened to you? You're playing Lone Druid, you're trying to last hit, but then you miss the CS because your attacks from the hero and the bear are not aligned. And in between your bear's and your hero's attack, a creep or the enemy hero gets the last hit or the deny. So in this short guide, I'm going to show you how to properly align your hits and how to never miss a last hit as Lone Druid. So here's the basic situation. Lone Druid has a very low base damage, only 40, and the bear only has 20 damage. But combined, that's 60 damage, which is not that bad. And if you buy good starting items, you can actually get a lot of last hit damage. So typically, the items I buy, if I'm playing in the mid lane, I'm buying a Quelling Blade on my bear, as well as a TP, so you can TP home the bear for healing. And then on my main hero, I buy... Four Ironwood Branches, as well as a Quelling Blade. So usually you don't buy Quelling Blades on ranged heroes because you run out of slots. But uh, for Lone Druid, that's not a problem because you're mostly buying items on the bear anyway. So you can easily afford the slot for a Quelling Blade. It's actually a really efficient farming item. It's six damage for only 130 gold. That is very efficient and it's an item you can keep for pretty much the entire game as Lone Druid. And these items give us an extra 10 lasted damage on the on the hero and an extra 15 on the bear. So this gives us a total of 85 lasted damage, which is very strong. So with this damage, you should very rarely actually miss last hits. But the problem is the following. If you look at and this uh, Lone Druid here is at max range, bear is right next to our target. If he hits here, the attack from the bear arrives much earlier. To make this a bit more clear, I'm going to give myself here a rapier, so we can see exactly when the last hit, the hits come in here. So you can see the uh, hit from the bear, that low hit here, only 20 damage comes in much earlier than my large hit with the rapier here. You can see that. And in between that um, interwall, an enemy hero can uh, steal a last hit or one of our own creeps can steal a last hit. And so to prevent that, we need to have some way of aligning the hits between the hero and the bear. Well, the easiest way of doing that is just getting really close. If we do it now, you can see the attacks arrive practically at the same time. Of course, being so close when you're last hitting can be dangerous. It means that your opponents can harass you when you last hit. But at the same time, if you only move in close shortly before the creeper is about to die, our opponent can't actually afford to hit us because then if they waste their attack attacking our hero, they can't contest his last hit. And if we just tank one hit for in exchange for getting a guaranteed CS, that's a really good trade for us. So in a lot of matchups, you can actually afford to just get really close here and uh, line up our last hits like this. But what if we're in a matchup where we can't really afford to get this close? Well, then there's one possibility of just attacking first with the hero and then with the bear. So I'm just selecting my hero right now, and then I'm selecting my bear, and you can see this arrives at roughly the same time. It sort of depends exactly on how quickly you do things. Uh, but this, of course, is a method that uh, takes a little bit of extra work, and it's a bit annoying. Another easier way of doing it is to just move slightly past the creep with our bear, so now our bear is at an angle to the creep and will take a little bit of time to actually turn around and hit this, uh, this target. So if we do it now, you can see the hits are a lot closer aligned. It's not perfect, but uh, for the most part, this is going to be good enough. So these are the techniques I usually use. I either just move close if I can and get the last hits at pretty much exactly the same time. Or if you can't afford that, Simply move past with a bear and then we align our hits pretty well. So how does it look when you're hitting actual creeps? I've bought the normal starting items and now we just move in here. This creep is about to die, so get the last hit here. Align our units and get the last hit. 
line our units and get the deny. Get the last hit here. And then again, we move in here. We're gonna get this last hit. We land our units and then get the last hit. And now let's pretend we are facing a hero that can actually um, harass us really well. We again sort of move past here and get the last hit. Move past, get the last hit. So this is how we last hit as Lone Druid. If you want to learn more about Lone Druid, I'm going to be streaming uh, on uh, Monday, which is, depending on when I post this, uh, today or tomorrow. And in that stream, I'm going to be playing some Lone Druid. And in addition to that, I'm also going to take a replay request from the chat. So if you have a replay that you want me to analyze, just uh, post it in the chat and I'll take a look. So if that's a Lone Druid replay on the other hero, I can uh, take a look and uh, um, help you out. And if you want to tune into that, that's uh, twitch.tv stroke Jon Gunnarsson. And hopefully I'll see you there. And I'm going to leave you with some other Lone Druid videos. And Obelisk Willing, I'll see you there.